ลอกไทม์เฮ้ยทุกคนเป็นบิ๊กเฮียกลับมาอีกแล้วกับวิดีโอ VOG ฮัชทรีผมเชื่อว่าเป็นอันที่สองเราอยู่ที่อันที่สองและผมกำลังเสียเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดวันนี้เป็นวิดีโอเป็นวิดีโอที่ถูกเงินขึ้นขอบคุณที่สุดว
but it has got the most widest plethora of airflow going on ever and it actually comes out of the posts from the inner side of the coil so this hole here goes through the posts and out of the coil the total opposite way to what air usually hits the coil uh, and that is what that hole's doing it's also got all these holes along the top as well uh, and all those ones go straight at the coil from the side so you can technically have this blasting air from both at both sides of each coil very interesting thing indeed um again if i was going to you know sum this up in a few words and i don't want to spoil any reviews or anything but i would say ugly but tasty <laughs> ugly but tasty is uh is a strap line i've possibly used it's also got some quirks that I really want to talk about and some general RDA stuff I really want to talk about in there. Um, I'm seeing a big disparity in people's opinions on RDAs at the moment. Um, this RDA is amazing, this RDA is awful. The truth is there aren't many truly bad RDAs anymore, we've kind of got the knack of making them and it's I, th I think it's all about coil placement, coil choice, wire type choice, uh, the correct wattage, whether it's a squonk, best for squonking, best for dripping. So I don't think it's straightforward as this is a great RDA, this is a bad RDA anymore. And it's more, and I, I know a lot of people hate this term, but dialing in, dialing in the vape for that RDA and then deciding if that that style that you've had to do to get the best out of that RDA is the right style for you. So um, I, I do want to talk about that sort of stuff on RDAs because RDAs have come so, so far. There are so many great RDAs now. But there is a knack to knowing which one's right for you. I'm patronising you all now. This is crazy. Uh, so that's the thing. I also got this, the Templar RDA from Orgvape. Got <laughs> some <laughs> very experimental coils in here right now. I always like to uh, mess around with the first build because it's always a chuck away anyway. It's never the one you see on cam. Uh, so, yeah, it's got a one screw clamp post setup. Uh, it's very low profile. It's got very nice diffused airflow. That's a thing, I promise. Um, so that's that's that. That's what that's going on. And uh, it squonks very well, I'll tell you that. It's got a couple of things that really annoy me. One is the fact that you've got to tur keep turning the cap to put it down right. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's actually a very credible option for a cloudy squonk fan. Um, again, depends what you want it for. Uh, it also drips quite nicely, that one, to be fair. But um, again, there's a, f there's a few niggles with that. Um, so I would love to do a review on that at some point. I'm sure I'll get a chance. Uh, <laughs> what else? The Horus, the Horus RTA. This has been getting some love. I have the jankiest coil in here right now. You wouldn't believe. You know when you get a pack? You get a pack of coils. Some of them look a bit out there. Yeah, it's one of those. that sizzle it's not because it's too loose wick or too tight wick trust me it's just a really janky coil so this is the Horus uh, RTA single coil RTA from Vapefly um, again this has got some funky features going on it's another one of these single coil RTAs that are, is looking for quite a lot of power for a single coil um, which is interesting but uh, there's some really big positives with that RTA and a few minor gripes that may affect your choice on that but overall that's getting a lot of love so what you know what do i know um okay so what else do we have i'm just working my way through the list wormhole horus cb80 the cb80 uh from wismec really should have done a review by now for this but um you know like i say it's been pretty busy um this is this. This is the CB80. So I don't know if anyone remembers. Wismec did a CB60 kit. And it was alright. It was pretty good. Um, it was marketed as being a, an excellent kit for Nixalt. Um, Nixalt juices. Uh, so, you know, it was lower wattage. They said the wicking was fine for salt nick and that. It's not that much of a thing um, with that. But uh, let's let them have that. And uh, so this is the next one. So there was a few quirks with that. A few people didn't like the actual tank, the tank got very mixed reviews on the CB60 um, and also people didn't like the built-in battery thing, I know a lot of people don't like the built-in battery thing um, 
So I totally understand that. But this one is pretty and it is now a single 18650. And uh, the vape is a very, very interesting Nautilus killing type uh, type of vape. Genuine, tasty, good looking compared to a Nautilus, good looking, uh, after long type uh, clearomizer. Do need to get hold of uh, some more Nixalt, but I don't. It's not a thing for me. But I think it is a fantastic thing, Nixalt. I'm not digging it out. So looking forward to doing that. I'm actually um, very impressed with the improvements that Wismec have made with that. What else? What else is on the list? We have this. This is the Arthur, the Arthur RDA. Off of Advocan. Advocan, yeah, designed by Fatrio and Advocan. Let's have a look at this. So this is I've got this set on the uh, the Phoenix Squonka. Where is the love for this e Phoenix Squonka? I think it's absolutely superb. These should be uh, very in demand. So what we've got here is uh, a two post situation, basically just two big holes. Um, again, this you know suits that squonky thing. It's got a goon style top cap. Um, let's have a look what we've got going on here. Yeah, so we've got not massive airflow compared to the these days, but um, it comes down quite nice. It fits goon tips. Very solid looking RDA. I'm not sure about the white stamp on a black thing and then the autumn tip but uh, that's their uh, that's their thing so that is the Arthur RDA from Advocate um, hmm. what else have we got uh, Arthur Manta oh yeah the Manta <laughs> Oh yeah, the Manta. Uh, the Manta RTA. So this isn't new, but this was given to me at Expo. This is the Manta RTA, not the mouth lung one that they've just brought out. I don't got that. Um, I'm going to... Oh, shall I get into this? I'm going to slightly swerve mouth lung tanks just for a bit. Um, just because I've done one and I don't want there to be any conflict of interest or the accusation. I can't help but be honest. It's like a it's almost like an illness but I don't want people to think I may or may not be being honest about an RTA and I'm really really picky and critical about mouth long RTAs anyway so if I do a bad review of a mouth long RTA people are going to say oh, I know what you're doing uh, and yeah, uh, yeah so I'm going to dodge mouth long ones but I haven't got that one, mouth long one this is their normal one been out quite some time uh, I like it Occasionally pees out boiling hot juice on my leg, but other than that, it's um, a really solid RTA, this in my opinion. Uh, the Manta RTA from Advocate. So that probably won't get a review. I mean, it's old, it's old, 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 old news now. But uh, I tell you what, if you just want a solid 50 watt RTA, then check that out because it's bang on. Mm. And uh, that's that. Manta, we're done. Lexicon, <laughs> Lexicon. Oh, do you like flashing lights? Do ya? Wee! And this, the party does not stop with this. This is the E Leaf Lexicon uh, Dual 18650 200 watt mod. Comes with another crazy version of the Elo. These Elo tanks are getting worse. The coil heads are still brilliant. They're just brilliant, 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 brilliant. Uh, they're just they're, they're some of the best coil heads out around. But uh, the tanks are just getting progressively worse. Check this out. Look how easy that is. This has opened in my pocket. This is opened in my bag. Oh, it's just crazy. I mean, I can literally almost flick it open. It's absolutely bizarre. Uh, so, yeah, so they've made the top cap too loose, but that might just be mine. I don't know. Um, but the coils are fine. Uh, but this, yeah, what a light show we've got going on here. So it's like, um, it's, uh, <laughs> there we go. Look, I haven't fired it for ages. And the party just does not stop with this, uh, light show on here so it's got lights going up here up here up here up here very sort of tron like i guess i don't know is that a thing i've just heard other people say it um but but very very solid very very rugged reminds me of the um tria in terms of it's just got a basic screen but it's absolutely rock solid um yeah so that's a thing 
haven't really formed an opinion on it yet. It's better looking than a lot of the light show ones, I'll, I'll give it that. Um, and it's really rock solidly made, so if you need some at rock solid, uh, then uh, check that out. That's the Lexicon by E-Leaf. Uh, I'll, talk about, I'll talk about the E-Leaf Joytech Wismec thing next vlog. Um, yeah, someone remind me. Uh, da -da -da -da. The Anglo, the Anglo RDA. That is this. This is from Hellvape. Hellvape are becoming like almost a bit sp like specialist sp specialists in RDAs. They're absolutely smashing these RDAs out. Hellvape. And did the Dead Rabbit? We'll talk about it in a bit. Um, they did the uh, what's the Ambitions Vapor one called? Um, it's got a funny name. Equitas. Oh, I don't even know how to say it. Not like me. Um, oh, da, da, da. Well, it doesn't say on it. Oh, yeah, it does right at the top. Uh, Equitas. Equitas? I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, but they did that one. They did the rabbit, all the versions of the rabbit. Uh, did they do the drop? I don't know. Anyway, but they <laughs> so they're smashing these RDAs out, and uh, on the whole, very, very solid. Uh, this one is the Anglo, the Anglo, and uh, I might unscrew this, it might say the designer's name on this, I know that it's, I think it's an Instagrammy guy, um, in collaboration with Dun, Ducan, Ducan Vape, in collaboration with Ducan Vape, uh, and yeah, so I think, I think he's an Instagrammer, um, but uh, he's designed this RDA with Hell Vape, basically it's got um, an absolute buku of, uh, airflow options available you see this ring round here all of these all of these uh, oh it's quite tricky to there we go so yeah so you've got you've got, it's got oh, let's have a look one two three four five six seven eight it's got like eight different airflow options on here um it's got this like big crazy alternus going on the deck it's a single coil by the way it's got this single coil deck situation but not like these you know european single coil squonky rdas it's got uh, plenty of room for your big insane coils in here i've got a little cute little spaced clapton in there um but yeah, so this uh, it's a, a sort of a cloudy single coil squonking and dripping RDA that's brand new from Hellvape. So I'll be doing a video on that one for sure. And I don't know about the other Hell, Hellvape stuff, um, but uh, definitely, definitely doing a video on that one. That's very interesting. Um, if you're very, very fussy about your airflow, an RDA like that could be right up your street, you know, because you can keep turning it and keep, you know, eight. A airflow surely one of those is going to be the right amount of airflow for you it's also got a very clever way it does the airflow we'll get there in the review and then uh, last thing on the queue right now it's not definitely going to be the last thing reviewed it's just at the bottom of the list of things I'm talking about right now um, so this is the engine v2 that I've uh, been vaping on absolutely Beautiful vape quality, um, but that's that deck though. It's uh, I've done a couple. To, this is a second build on it, so I've done a, I've done it a couple of times now. But it's very fiddly. I don't think it's ever going to get to the point where it's a piece of cake to put in. You know, like I say, your coil goes in upside down, and it's all quite condensed in there, and it's a bit fiddly. Not only that, if you want to do a big coil, it's too big because the juice channels, it, you'll go be going over your juice channels. If you do it too small, you've got to bend your leads out so it can hook in, because it's those C clamps on each side as well. So it's, I'm doing a lot of hand stuff. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so superb vape. Again, it's OBS and it's built like a monster tank. Is that, is that a thing? Um, but uh, yeah, so it's built great. It looks cool, vapes great, crazy deck. But I know a lot of people will be interested in that because the engine one was such a big hit. Uh, so the, that's kind of the queue. That's kind of, how long we're being. That's kind of the queue. That's kind of the queue as it stands. Um, oh, there's a few other things. Oh, there's also this um, African pumper um, still in the box. I really, really wanted to just put some time aside to actually, you know, actually just set that all up and enjoy the process, but I haven't had that moment yet. So um, that's still in the box, but it's a pump, it's a budget pumper. So it's like the Asmodus ones, 
like this, but like a budget pumper. So that'll be interesting. Um, it'll probably stand on stand and fall on how well the pump action works and what the RDA is like. So there we go. Uh, it's very plasticky. I'll tell you that for free. Um, so that's the queue. That's the queue, including that. That is the actual queue right now. Um, okay, let's talk about some miscellaneous vape stuff. Um, first of all, it, this, the Vaptio Superbat. Yeah, the Vaptio Superbat. And if you look closely, you will see you've got uh, a, the Batman symbol here. You've got the Batman face, and uh, that's the thing. And this was sent to me by Vaptio for review. It's not getting a review. Um, this is not trying to. I'm not trying to be controversial. I've not made a standalone video. Of this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to hit it with a hammer or anything like that. And I'm not digging out any reviewer that has reviewed this at all. But I'm not going to review this. I'm, <laughs> Vaptio, stop it. Just please stop it. You did a Spidery Man one. Now you're doing a Batman one. Vaptio, please stop it. First of all, these are these are very highly restricted copyright things. You know, these are trademarks. These are fully licensed things. Marvel and DC, I mean, they're incredibly scrupulous about who can use their stuff. You can't get it on a pencil case without going through all the correct channels and cutting a million bits of red tape. So, so first of all, you know, you're infringing someone's copyright, which is not cool. Not cool. Not like that. And secondly, and most importantly, Kids, man, kids, kids love Batman, Spider Man. We can't be seen to be doing anything that even remotely appeals to kids. Not even remotely appeals to kids right now. Every single government in the world is looking for an excuse to jump on our backs, and uh, and you're giving them one right there. Please stop. I've got a lot of time for Vaptio, but please do not go down this route any further with making things that could be seen to be aimed at children. Please stop, please stop, please stop infringing copyrights. Pre please stop making things that uh, look like they may be aimed at children. And, and again, that is absolutely not digging out anyone that has reviewed this at all. Each to their own, people need to know what it works like and stuff. I'm not, I, I'm in a very fortunate position now. I feel like I can be a little bit more picky about what I review and I am not giving that a video i'm not giving that any airtime at all do please 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 stop please stop doing stuff like that the vaptio c2 i think is a brilliant brilliant vape uh, it was a stick vape with a fantastic sub tank on top and uh, yeah it was crazy crazy good um so you know it's not a vaptio thing uh, well it is a vaptio thing please stop it vaptio but what i'm saying is you know i'm not massively digging them out i'm just please pleading with them to stop and you're not getting a review if you keep doing stuff like that um also the frogman tank the coil heads are absolutely superb lovely clouds lovely flavor the rest of the tank is absolutely appalling the top fill is so janky the top bit cracked on me you can't actually fill it with a regular bottle you know like uh like these, you can't actually use the top fill of the regular bottle. I've been having to shove a pencil down and then putting the juice in. Not exactly hygienic. Uh, it's just really stupid. Um, it's a bit leaky as well. Uh, yeah, like I say. Uh, so the Frogman, the coil heads are fantastic, but please, please re re revisit um, the actual rest of the tank because it's stupid. Um, so that's uh, that's that's your review, Vaptio. Um, yeah, please stop. Please stop. And to everyone else, and to juice companies and everyone, let's stop infringing copyrights. Let's stop appealing to children. Or I know you're not appealing to children, but stop seeming like you could be appealing to children because that is not good. So that is why that's not happening um, at all. Mm. Okay, what else we got? Oh, a quick mention for Dean the Vaping Biker. I don't know if you've seen the news. I don't know where you have been if you've not. But um, Dean the Vapor Biker has a squonker coming out with Dovpo. He's doing a, a dual battery regulated squonker with Dovpo. It looks great. Um, all I would say is, it's not out yet or anything, but all I would say is make sure you're following Dean um, on his YouTube page. Uh, just put in Vaping Biker. You can't miss it. 
Um, yeah, make sure you follow him on his YouTube page so you can get the lowdown on that when he does a video on it. Also, his Instagram and all that stuff. Looks great. Check that out. Uh, there's a little mention for that. Uh, vape, drink, chat, chill, live. <laughs> there hasn't been one for a while. Two reasons for that. One, I've been too busy with the uh, Saver RTA and the channel in general. Also, uh, I've converted my garage into a room, and that's been a lot of work as well. Still working on that, to be honest. Um, so, so I've been mega busy. So that, that's one of the main reasons there hasn't been uh, a vape, drink, chat, chill live. Uh, but the other reason is YouTube dis uh, seem to have decided they're really against alcohol-based YouTube videos. And, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a crucial part of that format, but it was in the name that we were having a beer, having a chat live. And uh, so, yeah, that might have to be revisited. I've always wanted to do uh, just a Vaping Vic and Friends live thing. You know, every other week I get a friend on, you know, a fellow reviewer or someone that works in the industry. I would really like to get the YouTube scene and the industry closer together. I found that a lot. Uh, I found there's a big separation, you know, uh, in, in working kind of within the industry from the outside with the tank. I found there's a huge separation between YouTube scene and the industry at the moment. And um, it would be great to get, you know, some industry people on uh, as well. But so I'm thinking about changing Vape Drink Chat Chill Live. But it'll probably just be Vape Chill Chat. Wait. Vape Chill Chat <laughs> Live. Something like that. Or if I can get, if I can convince someone to come on, uh, I do uh, vaping Vic with friends, and then vaping Vic with friends and whoever that friend is, uh, and just doing that like every other week live. So the live things aren't dead, but drink, vape, chat, chill live seems to now be against the spirit of what uh, of what YouTube want to do. So that's uh, that might be modified slash cut from the schedule. <sighs> YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love them. Okay, what else happier stuff than that? Check this out. Uh, my good friend Craig lent me this for messing around with my saver. So I've got the saver RTA in here. If you've not heard, I've done an RTA. Check that out. Um, so that's the saver in here. And this is the Stig Helix. This was uh, a high-end mod back in the day. Absolutely beautiful. It's got a DNA 40 in here, I believe. Uh, the reason I say I believe is because I've not gone past 16 watts. Um, but uh, yeah, DNA 40 underneath. It's um, a 26500 in here. I might have got that wrong as well. 26500 in here. Um, and uh, yeah, DNA 40. Uh, what? How beautiful is that? Check out Stig Helix. You know, do your little, do your little vape history sometimes. You know, do some Google searchy stuff. I just think that's a sexy vape, uh, a really sexy vape. Thank you to Craig for lending me that. I've done some sexy pictures of it, and I've had a really good play, and it's been really nice to use this. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful thing. You know, they don't don't made anymore, sadly, um, but uh, I just think that is cool, so I want to show it off in here. Um, this is the saver in uh, full genuine mouth-to-lung mode, by the way. has been a little bit of scepticism about the fact it does restricted direct to lung and mouth to lung a lot of mouth to lung are saying don't want a tank that can do both because obviously it's going to be compromised the compromise is on the direct to lung thing this is a mouth to lung tank first and foremost and it vapes absolutely superbly mouth to lung if i do say so myself so revisit that thought yeah so revisit that thought if uh, if you're thinking along those lines okay so that is the Stig Helix. Also, a very, very lovely thing came in. I've shown this off a few times in a few random videos. But uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. This is the uh, Abstract Mod Mods Dacus Squonker. This is a mod maker in the UK, Mark Dacus. Uh, and he is doing these beautiful switch fet squonkers. How cool is that? This is so gorgeous. It's beautiful. It doesn't. The camera's not doing it any justice at all. Uh, I'll put a link to his Facebook page in the description. Abstract mods. 
go and check it out. Maybe you will like what you see. It's uh, they're not just all like this either. There's some real like authentic stabby wood ones. He does some regulated ones as well. He's a bit of a bit of a master craftsman. He's the guy that made this, by the way. He made this that I've uh, I've used a lot in the past. Again, beautiful, beautiful bit of work. Uh, so go and check him out. Thank you very much, Mike, for sending me that. I love it, uh, and I use it whenever I'm not testing stuff. That and the Bonner, full time. Um, so yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, what else do I need to show you? Oh, I've got another very sort of uh, mod makery type thing coming as well. I've got a custard mod. Um, I uh, I got walked through the dyeing process on that. They 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 custom dye them in house to the exact hue uh, that you want them. They even can put your name on it as well. It's a three D printed squonker. Uh, so I'll be showing that off next time. Next vlog I'll be showing that off, and I'm going to do a video on that because they uh, they're fairly new. The custom mods squonkers, uh, especially in this format where you can have the exact hue of color you want, and you can have whatever you want printed on the mod as well it's all completely bespoke process very very cool uh, it's got all your good mod maker parts and all that in it so so I'll be showing off the custom mod next time giveaways giveaways I need to talk about giveaways sorry this is totally random miscellaneous -y stuff but uh, I need to I need to cover it so giveaways um, I uh, I think the giveaways uh, they'll have to be very well hidden and disguised on YouTube or they'll literally just have to be elsewhere um, so there's no giveaway in this video I am wanting to do more giveaways I'm also wanting to do a charity raffle everything is there ready to do a charity raffle as well um, so there's a raffle coming up I still want to give stuff away but you again YouTube has been way more strict on these sort of things um, so what I would say is if you can if you're on that I'm sorry if you're not on that but if you can follow me on Instagram uh, I think the giveaways are going to be on Instagram from now on. It's just at vapingv1ck on Instagram. You can't miss it. Um, so if you're interested in the giveaways, if you're worried about missing out on the giveaways, please follow me on Instagram because that is probably where they're going to be from now on. Um, YouTube is really not in bed with that. Before they were really lax on it, and so you could just do, here's a comp. Uh, you know, how do you spell blue? <laughs> But uh, now they seem uh, to be way more strict on it. A few other reviewers have been, uh, you know, had, uh, you know, issues. So the giveaway thing, um, probably moving to Instagram. Instagram is probably where that's at. And there's always a link to Instagram in every description. So check that out if uh, if you can't find it. Uh, so that is that. Oh, I want to show you this. I want to show you this. Um, my buddy, Vaping Haven, Billy was at uh, Vape Expo UK uh, rocking his dead rabbits and that is what I got on here. Um, he gave me a dead rabbit at Expo and we were chatting and stuff and I've never, because I've never actually done any Hell Vape stuff before and that's why I never had the rabbit. Um, I, they, I think you have to contact them and, and I, I don't do that. So anyway, so he hooked me up with a dead rabbit and a, an SQ and a challenge cap and a butcher cap and all that so this is the challenge cap on my dreamer um, and this is the I think it's called the I'm pretty sure it's called the butcher there's one that's a butcher I think I'm sure that's that with this the slit airflow this is the diffused fixed airflow uh, this one's brass this one's stainless um, so they do all these fancy extra caps I actually got the gunmetal one that's what that is um, so I've got that barrel as well, and I also got the SQ, the SQ which I've got on, looking quite nifty, on my uh, phobic mods. So um, yeah, the dead rabbit, never actually reviewed it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's properly brilliant RDA. Absolutely love it. I was very, very sceptical about how it would squonk because the coils are very high and your wicks are very long. And I always worry with RDAs like that, that when you squonk it, your juice goes up. It doesn't go up that high, so you have to kind of keep it constantly wicking to get enough juice up there. 
Not at all, not with the dead rabbit. It's very clever how the juice comes out and it gets actually very close to the top of the wicks with your juice. Uh, also, you've got your very high set airflow on there as well. So there's not a leaky thing as well. So it squonks very nice. Absolutely love this uh, challenge cap with the um, diffused, uh, diffused airflow on it. Absolutely loving this. Super easy to build really love the flavor the flavor is fantastic because the coils are so high in the rda they're really close to your mouth hole so uh, it's very nice the airflow superb as well it's almost got that underside airflow thing going on um, i love the range of caps available as well super well made by hellvape uh, really 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 big fan of a dead rabbit this i've been using this every night like this every single night absolutely loving it um, so really impressed with that the SQ is just a clever alternative really you know single coil smaller more condensed more squonk friendly um, I love the airflow the way the airflow jags in on the SQ uh, again so another solid RDA so two solid RDAs from the dead rabbit range uh, from Heaven um, do check those out if you missed those before um, they're still brilliant RDAs just because they've been out a couple of months doesn't mean they're not they're absolutely superb I never actually got around to reviewing those that's how I feel about the dead rabbit I think it's absolutely baller so that is that and that is not because <laughs> That's not because he's got my saver and I'm worried about what he's going to say about it. No, that's not why. It's just, they're just great. They're just great. And he, know, he knows that. Um, so that's the thing. I think that's it. I think that's it for any other business. So I will very quickly touch on my saver RTA. I've got it in here. You've got to get a good view of it do you, when it's in there. This is, uh, this is what it looks like. This is a saver RTA. Um, so I've been some absolutely gorgeous pictures on Instagram. I'll try and fire a couple on screen for you. Yeah, but my RTA, I just want to say, I don't need, to, I don't, there's not too much to say on it. I've got my video introducing it. Uh, Mark Todd's done a review of it. Paul McCartney's done a review of it as well. Vape Don't Smoke. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of videos. Any information you need to know about this tank is on the Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash saverrta. Uh, is the like page on there we post all the information required on there um, so there's not too much to say but I want to say thank you I want to say thank you to everyone that has bought it so far all the shops that have been behind it all the distros that are behind it um, it's going to be it's at the point you're seeing this it will now be in quite a few of the bigger shops as well so Vapor DNA get theirs this week um, Hayes Town in Canada get theirs this week Evolution Vaping have got theirs in the UK now so it's much more widely available this RTA now, um, which is great, which is good. Obviously, um, want it in as many hands as possible. But to you guys that have already got it, to you guys that have supported me with it, whether you bought it or not, I know it's not to everyone's style. Um, whether you've supported me with it or bought it, I just want to say thank you. Um, feedback has been incredible, um, absolutely superb. Um, the only things I would say, um, I don't know if I don't know if just little things. Um, just so you know, if you did get both, I know loads of people got the stainless and the black. Uh, you can, if you want to swap the drip tips over, you can unscrew this. You can actually unscrew the top bit. You see that? So if you want to switch them over, you can. Uh, no issue at all. I know some people are loving the yellow glass, but a lot of people prefer the uh, the more clear frosted one. Um, so you can switch the drip tips if you want. Uh, I should have said that in the video probably, but there you go. Um, the other thing is this tank. Loads of confusion about this tank. So it feels like glass and it looks like glass when you tap it, you know. But, um, it's PCGT, the material of this. Now, what that is, is an incredibly strong plastic alloy that looks and feels like glass. Um, but it is not glass, okay? So if you have an insanely strong tank cracking juice, we did test it with several tank crackers and it held up fine, but if you're using a, a crazy strong aniseed or something like that, it can still crack, it can still crack. So I do strongly, rec if you're using a tank cracker juice, I do strongly recommend using the glass that comes with it, the glass uh, body that comes with it. So that's the thing. Um, but other than that, I think everything is out there. I'm going to do um, a direct to lung, restricted di direct to lung build tutorial just to show you how I'm rocking it. Uh, so I'm going to do that soon as well. 
Um, and yeah, there's, hopefully there's uh, going to be some uh, reviews coming up. I'm hoping Vaping Heaven gets a chance to do a video on it. And Matt Cully, Suck My Mod, said he's doing one as well. And and, and I'm going to try and get it in some more reviewers' hands as well. That's not you know, obviously not enough reviewers. But um, yeah, so but they are coming on board all the time. And again, any review, good or bad, we put on the uh, Facebook page. So uh, it's going great. Um, I'm really pleased with the feedback. I'm really pleased that mo vast, vast majority of people are loving it. The people that aren't loving it seem to be the people that don't have it, which is always the way with these things, isn't it? But um, yeah, so that's going great. I'm really pleased with the saver situation. If you know a shop that you want to have it, or if you're connected to a shop or anything like that, just get in touch. Um, especially if you're a UK distro, because <laughs> we're having to send so many small parcels out to all these shops in the UK. Uh, we could really do with a UK distro instead. That would be fantastic. So if anyone's connected to a UK distro, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's going great. It's going absolutely great. Uh, again, 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 on the Facebook page, a full list of every single shop that has it that we can find, uh, that we know about. Because obviously once it gets into the distributor's hands, you don't know where it's going to pop up. But um, yeah, so all the shops that have it uh, are going to be on that Facebook page. Also, it's never going to be on the Chinese sites, I'm afraid. It's never going to be on your gear best or your Heaven's Gifts or anywhere like that. So... Uh, yeah, so if you're, if you're holding out for it to appear on those sites, don't. It's not going to. Um, so that's a thing as well. So that's that. That is that. So thank you for the for your support on the save thing. Absolutely blown away by the feedback. I'm really pleased everyone likes it. It was a lot of work, but uh, it's definitely been worth it so far. Um, yeah. So and yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, Mark Todd's done a review of it. If you want an independent review, very thorough, very picky about it all as well, which is exactly what I want, exactly what I expected. Um, again, Mark just can't help but be honest, and and uh, he points out some really fair negatives in in his video. So that's great. Um, so yes, uh, that is it. That is it. Is there anything else? Is there anything else I need to tell you? Um, it's been a bit serious, hasn't it? Uh, Mm. Mm. What can I say that's funny at this point? Nothing, and it's pretty long. We're, we're running pretty long for one of my vlogs. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Sorry it's not been for a blog, vlog for ages. Uh, there will be more now. Um, I'm getting back on top of stuff. Still so much stuff to do for the tank, but I'm managing it a bit better now. It was crazy when it was first launched, uh, but I'm managing it a bit better now, step by step. So it's going good, and thank you for your support. Obviously, the channel took a bit of a hit in terms of the amount of time I could spend on it, but uh, back on top of things a little bit better now. So that's all good. So stay tuned uh, to all that. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, didn't read out any comments this week. That's because it's been so long since the previous vlog. The comments would have been completely redundant. <laughs> um, so, But if you want to comment something, please do. Um, and I will read it out if there's something you want me to talk about in the next vlog or anything you want me to clarify or anything at all you want to comment I will read those out in the next vlog I promise uh, and uh, yeah we'll crack on loads of cool stuff to coming up um, what will be next what will be next gosh put me on the spot like that uh, possibly the wormhole possibly the wormhole RDA or the CB80 maybe I don't know <laughs> um, but uh, yeah those are definitely coming to the front of the queue for sure so I've been Vaping Vic thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye